Okay, let's take a look at the inside of our 1985 Bluebird Wander Lodge. I'm going to step out just a hair. So you can see the entryway. We've got a pneumatic step that extends automatically when you open the door. Also has a light to help you in and out at night. You can see that it has the uh, screen door and the main door. And the main door has not only the standard RV lock, but a really nice deadbolt right beneath it. The panel on the right is a fold-down panel to block off the step well when you're on the road if you desire. We don't really use it much. Uh, the sticker is just something the kids started years ago. You come up the gal, I'm sorry, the galley. <laughs> the head's right ahead of you. Turning to the right, you have the front compartment. You have two opposing couches. They have seating for six and seat belts for six on the couch. And of course the driver and passenger's front seat have lap belts also. You have the overhead airline type storage. Uh, and then you have the driver and passenger seat. The left couch will open up to form a double. The right couch uh, the back rest cushions, the three cushions, come out. They can be positioned in front of the passenger seat. And so you have a single sleeper on the right, a double on the left. When the left couch is out, you've got about eight inches between the two couches. So you can sort of shuffle your way up front if you need to. The overhead compartments give you a lot of storage. The lids are held up with little pneumatic arms. Driver's seat and passenger seat have been replaced. We have stayed with the uh, navy blue color. The original seats were leather, these are vinyl. These seats both have uh, air lumbar support and they were specified with the extra firm foam. Very comfortable seats. The backs do recline and each seat has a power pedestal that will move the seat forward, aft, left, right, up and down, tilt. Uh, very easy to get a good position. Wander Lodge of course gives you any switch or gauge you could possibly wish for. An easy shift automatic transmission. And then in the overhead you've got a CB CD player, stereo, uh, altimeter, and rear view mirror. One thing that we did add was solar power. There's two hundred watt solar panels. Uh, they're on the, the roof on tilt panels, and this is the solar controller for them. I'm going to pivot facing the rear now. As you enter to the right, you've got a half closet. I guess that's the best way to describe it. Let me open this up. As you do so, you've got an interior light that comes on. The vacuum, built-in vacuum cleaner is also in that cabinet, built into the floor. Have another small cabinet at the aft end of the driver's side couch. Let me mention that this upholstery and the foam in these couches is relatively new. We replaced it and went with a color pattern called Blue Flame, which is very close to the OEM fabric. Whenever we try to do an update, we always try to stay uh, in the same vein as the OEM uh, style. The drapes there extend across and are insulated. Overhead we've got the what we call the whole house fan. It's a Coolomatic. Turn that on, open your windows, and it exhausts a lot of air 
very, very nice feature. Uh, has three speeds and is thermostatically controlled, which is nice because you can set it, say, for 70 degrees during the early evening when it's warm. The fan runs in the middle of the night when it gets down to about 70 or wherever you set the temperature. Uh, it turns off, which is nice. Directly across from the entrance is the head. Replacement toilet. You have a medicine cabinet with storage. Solid surface countertop. Drawer. Uh, two sliding cabinet doors for storage. An electric heater that works off the generator or 120 volts AC. And then you have the shower. Uh, and I guess you could call it a tub too. It's a step down shower. You step down about maybe four inches. Has a small seat. Um, great for dogs and kids. Has its fan, a light, you know, a shower wand. Uh, the towel rack there has a method you can pull it out and have about five different arms to uh, dry things on. And you have a uh, solid shower door, tempered glass. Okay, pivoting back aft, you have the dinette. This will be on the passenger side just to keep you orientated. Two navy blue leather seats, Corian countertop. This does not make down to a bed. On the passenger side, you've got the galley module. You've got a microwave oven, storage cabinets overhead, storage cabinets below, ice maker, and to the right, You've got three drawers, and beneath that you have the mid-cabin gas furnace. Oh, right here underneath here is the two-burner propane stove. You have a pressure wand off the uh, Moen faucet uh, for, you know, spraying dishes. To the right of that is the Insta-Hot. Uh, if you have 120 volts from the generator or from shore power, you get... Uh, boiling water basically for tea or coffee. You have the Newtone mixer blender uh, panel. We have the uh, the mixer bowl, or not bowl, but a carafe I guess you'd call it. Uh, and then right behind there, behind the glasses, you have a compartment that holds a two-slot toaster. Back over the dinette, you've got more storage, two of the uh, standard cabinets. When we updated the interior, we went ahead and had the same fabric used for the blinds. They dropped down like an accordion blind, and we used the same fabric that was used on the couches. Going aft again, you have the refrigerator, top freezer compartment, bottom compartment, good size, propane electric, works very nice. Immediately to the left of that, you have the bedroom closet, again it's lighted. Pivot around, you can see the two twin beds. One of the nice features, one of the great features really, of this arrangement and this style Wander Lodge are the three large windows in the bedroom. You have 180 degrees of visibility. Large opening windows give you a good movement of air and the awnings, the exterior awnings, give you shade, the ability to have the windows open in the rain uh, and privacy. On the back window and the side window there are also mini blinds. You can see one set hanging down there a little bit on the right side. That panel there 
is a Reflectix insulated panel. Fits into the window and is Reflectix and then just a decorative cloth and a border that we sewed up. It's great for when it's really cold or really hot. You can uh, use that to thermally uh, give you some insulation. On the right side, you have underneath the bed, water tank, 96 gallons, propane furnace, hot water heater. Uh, on the left side, you have three large drawers. They are approximately at least two, if not two and a half feet deep. And two of them are stacked on the right, so each is about maybe four inches deep. Then the one on the left is probably a foot tall. Very nice for storage, serious storage space there. And of course on the overhead, you've got the three airline cabinets, both sides and the back. Hope you found this informative. Have a great day.